Aaron Yeager is interrupted from a disturbing dream involving a colossal titan by Mikasa. Back at Shingen Shina, an isolated district outside Wall Maria, Aaron scolds a guard named Mr. Hans for his unprofessional behavior of drinking while on duty. Later, Aaron is strangely captivated by a group of scouts who have clearly endured immense hardships. When Aaron reaches home, his father departs and a heated argument erupts with his mother over his desire to join the scouts, leading him to flee in frustration. Armin, their friend, matter-of-factly mentions that despite the walls having remained impervious to Titan breaches for a century, safety is not guaranteed. This is further evidenced when the Titan from Aaron's nightmare inexplicably materializes, demolishing a section of the wall. Aaron's home is obliterated in the attack, and his mother is left trapped beneath the wreckage. Aaron and Mikasa hastily attempt to rescue her before an approaching Titan draws near. Subsequently, Mr. Hans arrives and escorts the children away just as Aaron's mother meets a harrowing fate, being devoured by a Titan right before his eyes. Chaos ensues as throngs of people desperately attempt to flee, leading the guards to close the gate in a bid to safeguard the remaining denizens of the city. However, their efforts are in vain as an armored Titan forcefully breaches the gate and Wall Maria, compelling humanity to retreat towards Wall Rose. After the passage of a year, approximately 20% of the global population is deployed to recapture Wall Maria, resulting in significant casualties. This grim turn of events, however, resolves the issue of food scarcity. Another year later, the three youngsters, Aaron, Mikasa, and their friend Armin, join the 104th Cadet Corps. As basic training commences, additional characters are introduced, and Aaron faces persistent inquiries about the titans he claims to have encountered. While Mikasa effortlessly excels in the aptitude test, Aaron struggled. However, with the guidance of Raynor, he perseveres through rigorous training and successfully passes the test. Following a span of two years, the cadets undergo rigorous training, including hand-to-hand -hand combat, where Aaron faces repeated defeat at the hands of Annie. Eventually, the training is completed, and the cadets are given the option to choose between joining the garrison scouts or the military police regiment. Aaron, Armin, and Mikasa make their selections, with Aaron opting for the scouts, an unsurprising choice. Armin and Mikasa follow suit, aligning themselves with Aaron's decision. At a later time, the Colossal Titan resurfaces and breaches the wall once again. Aaron confronts the Colossal Titan in an attempt to defend humanity, but inexplicably, the Titan vanishes into thin air. As tensions rise, a military strategy is devised, resulting in Mikasa and Aaron being separated. Aaron's group embarks on a mission to combat the Titans, but tragically, they suffer heavy losses. In a harrowing turn of events, a Titan targets Armin, but Aaron valiantly intervenes, sacrificing himself by allowing the Titan to swallow him whole. Amidst the chaos, the townspeople find their escape route blocked by a traitor's wagon, which comes under attack from a Titan. Thankfully, Mikasa comes to their rescue, reflecting on her traumatic past of witnessing her parents' murder and her subsequent kidnapping only to be saved and taken in by Aaron and his parents. Mikasa eventually locates Armin's group and learns of Aaron's dire situation, but she rallies the others, urging them to press forward. Regrettably, Mikasa's emotional distress takes a toll on her physical ability, and her gear runs out of gas while being confronted by a Titan. Overwhelmed, she is on the verge of giving up, but memories of Aaron's unwavering determination spur her to avoid the Titan just in time for another one to arrive. Surprisingly, this new Titan dispatches the other one, coming to Mikasa's rescue as the soldiers make their way to headquarters. In the meantime, Armin devises a strategy to utilize the battling Titan to their advantage. Upon reaching headquarters, the Titan wreaks others' Titans surrounding the area, while Armin coordinates efforts to clear the storeroom and replenish their gear, which proves successful. Eventually, the fighting Titan meets its end, taking down its adversaries but collapsing lifeless. To everyone's surprise, steam begins to emanate from the Titan's body, and an unconscious Aaron emerges from its neck, reuniting with Mikasa. Upon the scouts' return from their reconnaissance mission, Captain Levi displays exceptional combat skills by dispatching numerous Titans. Meanwhile, Mikasa and Armin protect Aaron from soldiers who are apprehensive and ready to attack at any moment. Tensions escalate as a standoff ensues, and the commander eventually orders the cannon to fire. However, Aaron unexpectedly undergoes a partial Titan transformation, intercepting the cannonball and saving both Mikasa, Armin and himself. Aaron emerges from the partially transformed Titan body, visibly fatigued. Armin, who had previously viewed himself as a burden, manages to convince many soldiers to spare their lives, but the agitated captain remains resistant. Fortunately, Commander Pixis arrives and listens to their pleas. He devises a plan to utilize Aaron's abilities to seal the hole in the wall using a colossal boulder. Pixis formally presents the plan to the army, revealing Aaron's unique ability to his astonished friend. 
Despite some initial setbacks, Aaron's group manages to reach the boulder and he transforms into a tight. However, a mishap occurs as Aaron accidentally attacks Mikasa and knocks himself unconscious. The soldiers step in to protect him from the approaching titans, while Armin arrives to rouse him. Jean narrowly escapes from a group of titans with assistance from his friends, who fix an equipment malfunction. They then notice that Aaron has regained consciousness and is carrying the boulder toward the breach in the wall. The soldiers successfully protect Aaron from the remaining titans as he seals the wall with the massive boulder. Once the breach is sealed, the remaining titans within the wall are swiftly dispatched, and the solemn task of cleaning up the fallen begins. Commanders Erwin and Levi of the Scouts visit Aaron, who is currently held prisoner by the military police. They make the decision to allow Aaron to join the Scouts in their mission to retake Shingen Sheena. Several days later, Dallas Zachary arrives to discuss Aaron's fate and determine which regiment will take custody of him. Commander Erwin suggests utilizing Aaron in the mission to reclaim Wall Maria, although some express differing opinions, including the notion of killing him. Aaron, who would do well to restrain himself, instead lashes out at the dissenters, labeling them as cowards. However, Levi intervenes with force to silence Aaron, and ultimately Commander Zachary agrees to allow Aaron to participate in a trial scouting mission. Subsequently, we are introduced to a group of elite scouts, including Hanji, who is responsible for studying captured titans. Hanji spends an entire night sharing her knowledge with Eren. However, their conversation is cut short when they learn that the captured titans they had been studying have been killed. The question of finding the culprit becomes a pressing concern. As the scouts deliberate on which regiment to join, and Commander Erwin addresses the prospective scouts with a blunt statement that most of them will likely meet their demise, with only a few surviving or remaining in service. The 57th exterior scouting mission begins with a well-thought-out formation that employs smoke signals to avoid regular titans during their journey. However, the situation becomes precarious when abnormal titans with erratic behavior pose a threat. A female titan exhibiting unexpected intelligence charges through the formation, followed by regular titans that decimate a portion of the right wing. The female titan defeats the section commander in close proximity to Armin but inexplicably spares his life after inspecting his face. Armin deduces that she is searching for someone, most likely Aaron who is positioned at the center of the formation. Jean, Rainer, and Armin attempt to distract the female titan, but their efforts are unsuccessful. Krista arrives with horses for Armin's group, rescuing them, while the female titan continues her rampage. News of the right wing's downfall reaches the center of the formation. Erwin decides to proceed with the mission despite the setback, leading the group into a dense forest of towering trees. Aaron's group races through the middle of the forest, pursued by the relentless female titan. Levi instructs them to keep riding while the reinforcements hold off the enemy, and Aaron contemplates the possibility of transforming into a titan. Levi and Petra have a conversation with them about the situation, and we are shown flashbacks of the trust that has been built within the group. As a result, Aaron ultimately decides against transforming into a titan. The female titan falls into Erwin's trap, allowing the scouts to capture her alive. However, as they reach the entrance of the forest, titans start climbing the trees in an attempt to reach the scouts. Erwin's group tries to cut the female titan's hands to expose her neck, but they discover that she can harden certain areas of her skin. Suddenly, the female titan lets out a scream that attracts more titans from all directions, and they begin devouring her. Erwin realizes that the person inside the female titan's body is now among them, and one of their own, Gunther, is killed, prompting him to call off the mission. Armin deduces that the special titans were present when Aaron first transformed into a titan, as Aaron's group flees from the female titan that has retransformed. His teammates skillfully try to hold her off, creating an opportunity for Aaron to escape. They almost succeed, but their lack of knowledge about the female titan's abilities results in their tragic deaths. Enraged, Aaron finally decides to transform, driven by a desire for vengeance and filled with regret for not doing so earlier. He engages in a fierce battle with the female titan determined to seek retribution. However, it becomes evident that the female titan is superior in every aspect, and Eren is defeated. She devours him just as Mikasa arrives on the scene, giving chase and showcasing her exceptional skills. Soon after, Levi arrives, demonstrating his unparalleled expertise. Together, they successfully retrieve Eren, and the group sets off, leaving the female titan alive, with their top priority being to keep Eren safe. Upon their return, the group is met with disapproval for their failure and they are ordered to relinquish custody of Aaron. As a result, Annie, who is part of the military police group tasked with escorting Aaron's scout group through town to the capital, is approached by Armin. He asks for her assistance in escaping with Aaron, and Annie agrees. Jean then acts as a decoy for Aaron's escape plan. 
After reaching an underground area, Annie refuses to descend further, revealing that she is the female Titan, and transforms. Aaron, Armin, and Mikasa become trapped in the tunnels as Annie confronts them. Aaron attempts to transform, but struggles to accept that Annie is the female Titan. The group splits up, but Annie manages to smash through the ground, burying Aaron in rubble while Mikasa engages in a battle with her. Additional soldiers join the battle, and Jean abandons his disguise to take action. However, Erwin is prevented from intervening by the military police. Armin encourages Aaron, while Jean leads Annie into a trap set by Hanji, but she manages to break free. Finally, Aaron is able to transform into a titan and pursues Annie through the city, resulting in widespread destruction and casualty. In the midst of the chaos, Commander Erwin is arrested by the police. The titans engage in a brutal battle, with Annie recalling memories of her father as she tries to escape by climbing up the wall. However, Mikasa swiftly cuts off her fingers and Aaron delivers a fatal blow, decapitating her. Yet, Aaron freezes upon seeing Annie's human form, and before she can be captured, she encases herself in a hardened cocoon, effectively neutralizing her. Commander Erwin is then questioned about the operation, and he argues that it was a significant advancement for humanity. However, some express skepticism about the ultimate outcome. The scouts are tasked with the responsibility of guarding Annie, as they contemplate what the future may hold. 